Last Sunday, thousands of Falun Gong practitioners gathered to do meditation exercises near Taipei 101. They were commemorating the 1999 April 25th appeal. Fourteen years ago on that day, Yuan Hongbing, a former professor at Beijing University, was standing outside the entrance of Zhongnanhai, the Chinese government compound in Beijing. Yuan witnessed history as more than 10,000 Falun Gong practitioners made a peaceful appeal after several of their fellow practitioners were arrested in Tianjin. On that day, after I came to Chang'an Street, I saw a group of Falun Gong practitioners. They exercised quietly, close to Zhang Nanhai, to express their determination and their belief of truthfulness, compassion and forbearance. The petitioners appealed in a calm and peaceful manner. They only requested a redress and recognition of their rights to practice their beliefs. Yuan said the group dispersed as quietly as they gathered, leaving no trash behind. Three months after that day, the Chinese Communist Party started a widespread persecution of Falun Gong practitioners. This has become the greatest human rights disaster in the 21st century. Falun Gong, also known as Falun Dafa, is a spiritual cultivation practice with its roots in traditional Chinese culture. On July 20th, 1999, Chinese Communist Party leader Jiang Zemin banned Falun Gong and started the more than a decade-long persecution of the practice. Jiang Zemin has used all kinds of media, tools, and all means of persecution to arrest and persecute Falun Gong practitioners, and it has been 14 years now. During these 14 years, practitioners outside of mainland China have held many events to expose the atrocities of the persecution. Spokesperson of the Falun Gong Human Rights Legal Team, Zhu Wanqi, urges the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights to take the initiative to investigate the persecution of Falun Gong practitioners in China. Zhu calls for Chinese lawyers to join the team to bring Jiang to justice. As long as the present Chinese leader Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang do not completely remove Jiang from power, it would be impossible to stop the persecution. Chinese people in the legal profession are the promoters of Chinese laws. We hope you can help Chinese people quit the CCP and dissolve the Communist Party. Every year for the past three years, the Service Center for Quitting the Chinese Communist Party near Taipei 101 has helped at least 10,000 Chinese people to quit the CCP. Falun Dafa Information Center Executive Director Levi Browdy talks about the unique role of Taiwan. I think the role Taiwan has played has been interesting. I was in Taiwan probably four times last year, and every time I go to a tourist site, uh, a famous building, there are mounds and mounds of Chinese, uh, mainland Chinese tourists, and there's always Taiwanese people there with placards exposing the persecution of Falun Gong, handing out flyers, because this is something they can't see in China. And clearly that's having an impact. This year, the April 25th anniversary events next to Taipei 101 have attracted many mainland tourists. In New York, Falun Gong practitioners remembered the April 25th appeal by holding a candlelit vigil in front of the Chinese consulate.